Hello. <laughs> I think it might be Michelle here right now. Hi, Michelle, if you're still here. <laughs> the beginning is always so awkward. <laughs> <clears throat> things it takes a bit for the notifications to show up and things and i have been terrible about advertising sales lately so i'm surprised anybody shows up sometimes <laughs> oh hi good to see you <laughs> oh my gosh i have been trying to not source for a while because I have enough to sell and it's just that sourcing is so fun, but I really, I really need to move the things that I have. So I don't know if anybody else is, is, um, trying to control their sourcing right now, but I sure am. <laughs> you too. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's been okay. I haven't been able to get out as much as I would like to. I'd really like to get outside some more, uh, before the weather starts being cold again so <laughs> but other than that yeah it's been it's been pretty good thank you i hope yours has been good too <laughs> i have all christmas stuff i i'm wondering if people are really sick of it by now already but i don't know everybody has something different to bring sometimes so <clears throat> some things are making a reappearance from my christmas sales in up from last year because I don't think I had as many followers back then. Well, I know I didn't. And uh, so I'm just giving it another chance for, for new eyes to see. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> People probably don't expect me to do sales because I do them so irregularly lately. I feel bad, but <laughs> life. <laughs> Might be just us. Oh, I see a few more people came in. I was going to say, it might be just us, Michelle. <laughs> You'll have to let me know if you see anything you like. <laughs> Hi, Shanika. Thank you for coming. Hi, Lena. Good to see you. Phew, it's so good to see people come in. <laughs> always, always relieved. <laughs> From Georgia. Oh, it must be nice and hot down there. It's, um, well, usually it tells the temperature right on my computer, but it's pretty warm here today. It's 78. That's, that's pretty comfortable actually. Nice and sunny. Hi, Kathy. Hello, a fellow Kathy. <laughs> Thank you for coming. So are you guys sick of, uh, of the Christmas stuff yet? Or are you still looking for more? I toyed with not doing one, but I, I do have some, some, so <laughs> yeah, definitely warm. <laughs> more, more. Okay. Good. <laughs> it's an interesting combination of things. I have like a couple of ugly, cr ugly Christmas sweaters. I have, um, some, I'm going to try to pronounce this right. It's the, it's, it's the German word, Wiestersbach. It's that really long word that begins with a W. Mugs, um, an Anna Lee, some Hummel, um, and of course, kitschy, kitschy little fun things. Hello, Kraken. And I'm so sorry I can't remember your first name yet. It's not sticking with me for some reason. I apologize for that. <laughs> and I know I've heard it. And I remember thinking, remember, it hasn't stuck yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's people that I've seen forever and the name still hasn't stuck. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think a lot of us have that problem though. <laughs> Christine. Oh, okay. Christine. I can remember that. Crack and Christine. Crack and Christine. Word association. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a nice, well, I've seen you before, but nice to meet you with your name. <laughs> No such thing as an ugly Christmas sweater. That's true. That's true. They're all just fun. I used to wear ugly Christmas, like ugly Christmas sweaters back in the day. And then they were like 
no, you don't wear it. And so I got rid of all my, like I had some beautiful ones and I'm so regretting getting rid of some of the ones I had. I had this really long, like I think it was an Angora actually sweater. It was, it was to my knees and it was a gorgeous shade of like dark forest green. And it was a, an old world Santa and it was very subtle. It was beautiful, warm, great to wear with leggings. And I just, I got rid of it. It was so pretty. <laughs> I don't know what the brand is or anything. Crack and Christine. Oh, that's cute. I like it. <laughs> the, the alliteration. I always like that. <laughs> Hi, Chicago lady. Did I ever say hello? Yes. No, I didn't. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Silly Kit Kat. <laughs> I know. And now, now I kind of, whenever I see an ugly Christmas sweater, I kind of snag it. For a while, it was kind of bread and butter for me on eBay. Um, I would get 20 to 24 every time um, for one of those. Uh, but it started to not be as popular. And then what I had left, I sold in a pile, basically not in a pile, but you know, a few of them. And I just called it a, a party starter, ugly Christmas sweater, you know, so somebody threw a party, then they'd have all these sweaters for people to wear. So they wouldn't have to bring their own, but, <laughs> and I, and it worked. I got rid of the rest of them that way. So, <clears throat> so we have 11 people here and usually when it hits 10, I decide to just get going with the selling. Um, I just, I don't, I don't want to drag it on too long if people are waiting for, for the Christmas. So <laughs> I tried to wear a, a Christmas shirt. It's got, it's hard to show, but it has the peanuts <laughs> on it and some, um, some Christmas earrings. <laughs> See the head base behind you, love her. Yes, um, that was a gift to me from Chris Roselli, and it was sold by Barbie Punk Bunk and Junk, and I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to decorate her for all the holidays. Um, I don't know if that was silly having the flags coming out of her head, but I kind of like it. So, <laughs> and she's wearing a bracelet for a necklace, and she has a clip earring as a flower here up on her head. That's really cute. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get going. Um, I don't know if any of you collect the Hallmark ornaments, but I'm just going to start with those for now. I believe I put this down for choice. Let me just double check here. Um, and I put this the tape on the plastic part of the box so that I wouldn't damage the, the cardboard box. I made it harder on myself. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be for choice. Um... All right, and I'll show them to you. Well, I'll show you the boxes first. They are, I know Story Otter is very pretty. Does look like, oh, thank you. <laughs> That's, I appreciate that. I just dyed my hair blonde. <laughs> I've never dared to do that ever because my complexion is so pale. I've never known what blonde I could go with. But so I have these mouse uh, Hallmark ornaments. Um, one is filled with fudge. Oops. That's filled with fudge. I'll take him out in a minute. And then we have um, open and shut holiday. So it's more mice and they're in their little filing cabinet, which is kind of cute for somebody who has an office. So I will take them out of their packages. Oh, and the years are 1988 for this one and um, 1994 for this one. The box on this one is not in great shape but the ornament is fine oh <laughs> thank you <laughs> maybe a wig maybe a blonde wig <laughs> so it's it still has the original packaging and the plastic around it my mom is a mouse person i'm a mouse person we, we have too many mice mouse ornaments and uh christmas decor so I'm trying to pare it down a little bit it's going to be hard to show with my face in the way here, but come on, fella. There we go. He's got his chocolate dipped spoon. Really cute. Really good, cute size. I would say it's like three, three inches, three and a half inches, something like that. So there's that guy. And then the other one, um, like I said, the packaging is kind of coming apart. So thank you. <laughs> Um, and this one has tissue paper around instead of the plastic that it came with originally. And so here is the little filing cabinet that does open up to let you see little mice inside with their little tree. Really cute. <laughs> He's putting the star on the tree in there. 
open ASAP. Happy holidays. Really cute. So for choice, um, this is $6 and it's number nine. $6, number nine uh, for choice on the, uh, the mouse ornaments. <laughs> I'm going to put these away. hope it doesn't make too much noise. Probably is. <laughs> Have you guys gotten to go to the beach or anything this this uh, summer yet? I've gotten to go once or twice for a little tiny bit. I really have enjoyed being in the sun as much as possible. <laughs> Sometimes the winters get long, so. This is really noisy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Back in there, all right. I've been over a dozen times. I'm so thankful. Oh, yes. I would be too. Oh my gosh. Just the therapy of the sun is wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to set those aside. And up next, I have this uh, Santa Claus coin bank. He, he made an appearance last winter, but I thought I'd bring him back again because I thought he was so cute. Um, and he is waving out his window. He is ceramic. Something about the glare and the focus is just. There he goes. I love his happy little eyes and he's waving. There is some wear to the cold paint on the wreath. Let's show you the condition here. There's some wear to the red cold paint on the bricks as well. There's where the coins go. And there's the maker sticker. Do I have it upside down? I had it. I had it. <laughs> there we go. It's Nanko, Boston, Massachusetts. And the bottom is a little tape residue-y. But... So it's from Nanko. This is $10 and it is number 13. $10 number 13. On the snowman, snowman, Santa Claus <laughs> house bank. Oh, I would love to go to the beach like right after this. <laughs> Just sit in the sun and listen to the waves. Super cute. Great for um, a child if you're trying to teach them to save money to buy gifts <laughs> for others. Really sweet. Okay, so I'm going to move him along. <clears throat> Up next, I have, where's his sticker? This is another ceramic piece. <laughs> it's another ceramic piece. It's a, a hobbyist piece as well, and it's just this silly little mouse singing Christmas carols, apparently. It looks like to me, he's either really sleepy and yawning, which actually makes more sense, but you also, the mouth is a very much a caroler mouth. <laughs> so he's pretty funny. He has a little of these like weird little brownish marks. I don't really know if that's in the paint or like the glaze, but he has a candle in his hand. And he's uh, the person who made him. He's right on the bottom there. I just thought he was funny and kitschy. <laughs> And I'm sure somebody has some kind of mouse collection going with these guys. So he is $10 and he's number 23. $10, number 23 for the silly mouse. Mm. The focus there. <laughs> His face cracks me up. <laughs> Now, if I move along too fast, which I do tend to kind of scoot along, um, let me know if you saw something and I moved past it, and I will I'll just hit the brakes and we'll address the thing that you're interested in. So I'm going to set this aside. <clears throat> up next, I have an offer up starting at $6. Uh, start. Did I type that correctly? Yes, I did. Start six. And I'm not sure 
if, if there's supposed to be someone on the other side. <laughs> but we've got Mrs. Claus here holding onto a basket. And it does say Anna Lee on the little tag there. And she has her little, um, kind of her cuter, cuter little dress on, a little shorter than you usually see her wear. <laughs> and she has her little feet kind of holding down the basket. Um, she does have a condition issue with her bonnet. Um, I am not good at stain removal and I didn't want to spread this or make it worse. It's probably not that big of a deal, but I just wanted to point that out. So um, I think she's really great to put Hershey's Kisses in. And if you have another Anna Lee uh, figure to put on the other side that will grip, that'd be really, really cute. Um, but my favorite thing to do with these is putting Hershey Kisses in them for sure. <clears throat> it's fun if you have a desk at the office that you like to pe let people, you know, take candy or whatever. <laughs> I used to do that when I worked in an office a long time ago. <laughs> so, here's her face. <laughs> they really do have interesting, interestingly painted faces. Um, it looks like the year is, well, it's, it says 1963 and then it says 1971. So this is an older one. Yeah, it's an older one. Early 70s, Anna Lee anyone is interested. <laughs> she looks like, I don't know, she's funny. I like her. <laughs> Hi, Brown American. Thank you for coming. So I'm going to set her aside. And let's see. I meant to do a reel on this one. This is going to start at 12. Um, There we go. And this is a vintage a gingerbread ma gingerbread man by Eden Toys. And he's really sweet. He has these interesting like cookie, you know, frosting eyes. <laughs> and then the candy buttons. And he's just really different and and you know, definitely kitschy, definitely on the older side makes wonderful sound beautiful not to be weird but that sounds pretty nice <laughs> um he has looks like um somebody stitched him but i don't know if he that's how they made them or not like the stitching is very obvious right here but he's got this yarn hair and his, his eden tag is here it's kind of beaten up um it's hard to see but it is there and then there's a loop, also a loop here to hang him. So <laughs> I, I just really like the sound. Oh, hi, Jane. <laughs> yeah, I would think so. <laughs> it's like, a, it would be a beautiful wind chime. I love it. <laughs> it's probably enough, right? <laughs> you guys could see it. <laughs> it is really neat. Not, so, not something you see every day, that's for sure. I actually at one point had him listed on, on eBay and very rarely did I make videos, but with him I did and I was jiggling him back and forth. But <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna move on. Let's see. I, let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to these taper candles. They are starting at 14. <laughs> Uh, start 14. Now I'm going to figure out the best way to ship them as they are wax candles. Um, I'll just show you one at a time. I have not seen ones like these before or not. And maybe I did when I was a kid and I just don't remember, but they are very glittered with holly leaves on them. Now the glitter does stop like right about there, I guess, assuming people were going to burn it um that's my guess the wicks are kind of on the yellow side but i have never seen anything like this before when and with all the lucite candles out there and and you know the mercury candles it's like this is something a little bit different to put on your uh, vintage candle holder hey claudia thank you so much didn't see you sneak in there <laughs> 
So there are two of them. And they're not broken. Oops. <laughs> and wow, guys. Really, really pretty. Let me get in on the sparkles there. And they really, as you can see, they catch the light. You should see them in the sun. Well, I don't want to keep them in the sun, but you know, under the bright lights, under Christmas lights, they're very, very pretty. It's two tapers with holly leaves. It, you know what it reminds me of is those um do you remember those tall candles that were that had a, a picture around them and they were glass tubes almost with a candle down inside and it was like sugared on the outside that kind of reminds me of that i used to love those when i was a kid gives me gives me those vibes so really pretty <laughs> It's like one of these things where I'm like, should I put this in my collection now? <laughs> it's so hard. It's hard not to, especially with the Christmas, but I'll probably shoot, shoot them over to my booth around Christmas time so if they don't sell today. So I'm going to set these aside. Um, so where do I go from here? <laughs> okay. I have some more kitsch. This is, uh, where's my price? This is going to be a straight price and I'll tell you about it a little bit and then I will tell you the price. So it's, it's kitsch. It's kitsch. <laughs> it is a yarn, a uh, doorknob. I guess it would be a, do it could be a doorknob hanger or it can actually really hang it on your door because it has the spot right there. It's got Santa Clauses all the way down and bells. <laughs> His eyeball is stuck there. They have googly eyes. And then it has the tassel at the bottom. <laughs> this is just pure kitsch. This is this is right up my alley. <laughs> Makes me smile. Reminds me of my grandmother. I can give you a length if you'd like. Um, but this is going to be six dollars. Is that what I said? Oh my gosh, I think I said the wrong price. Nope, I meant to say eight, but I'll go with six because I said it first. So this is six dollars and it's number three. Six dollars, number three. Truly kitschy. <laughs> I love the door hangers. I always have. <laughs> Here's the back. Oops. Here's the back. I don't know what the lag is like today either, so I'm not sure. So. <laughs> ah, thank you. Thank you. That makes sense. I will do that if they sell. <laughs> Oh, now it makes me wonder if we're still on the candles while I'm holding this. I wonder. I have no idea what. The lag can be really, really long some days, and some days it's not very bad. But So like I said, um, if I move along and you see something you like, don't be afraid to give me a shout. Um, say, hey, I wanted to look at that. All right, so I'm going to move along with this one. And let's see. Up next, <laughs> let me grab these. Noisy. I have some Fitz and Floyd um, Christmas figurines. There is some damage to them. Let me show that to you before I give you the price. We have this little family of carolers. My face out of here. It's hard to get your face out. <laughs> yeah, come on. Eventually, they will focus. There we go. So as you can see on the brim of his hat, it's it's significantly damaged. But it look, to me, it looks like snow on the brim of his hat. And I thought it was until I touched it. And there's issues there too, uh, back there as well. This is literally kind of like my last chance with these guys. Just figured somebody might like them. Same thing with her. But again, I feel like it looks like snow on her hat. So there's this set with also these. With the dog. And the two ladies. And again, some hat issues. Is it supposed to be there? I think so. And this is the back. Say Fitz and Floyd. 
Hi, Trisha. Thank you for coming. Good to see you. I feel like I feel like it's been a long time. That's I've been to one of your sales too. I need to get back into. I haven't been watching a lot of sales lately. I need to get back into into that. And then there's this lady in the blue coat and her little girl. And they have they're in um <clears throat> they're in pretty good condition actually. These these two. And they're carrying their packages. So <clears throat> for the set of three, excuse me, it's ten dollars and it's number number seven. $10 number seven for the set of three Fitz and Floyd uh, villagers. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to put it. I don't have a Christmas village, but I would just, a Fitz and Floyd one, I would think it would be so cute. <clears throat> And just because they're kind of difficult, oh, the price, it is um, $12, or did I say 12? 10, excuse me, 10. Can't read my own writing lately, $10, and it's number seven for the set of three. Yep, just double checking my book, 10. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Christine, <laughs> I remembered. All right, I'm gonna write you down really quick. see all right thank you so much okay so my next item let's see i brought more than usual so now i'm like whoa there's a lot to choose from here um if anybody is interested in fabric i forgot to measure it i'm sorry about that um but is this pretty fabric Christmas fabric that I got for crafting and I just love the scene on it hi Dolores how did how did the rest of double D go I had I'm sorry I had to cut out thank you for coming double D with Daniel and Dolores is on um at 2 eastern every Thursday um you guys catch that show out too it's so much fun and they talk about interesting topics and Stuff that my brain probably can't get around most of the time, but I still love to watch it. <laughs> it's a great show, and it's a new show, too. Double Ds. <laughs> so this really cute pa uh, pattern on this fabric. Um, let me just unfold it. I'm, I'm, again, I apologize for not measuring it, but at least I can give you some idea of the size. Somewhat. <laughs> Too small, whoops, too small for a table, but like nice for the middle of a table type of deal. Um, I would guess at least three feet by at least two feet. That's my guess. Um, so this fabric is $8 and it's number five. $8, number five. Red Truck Scenic by Susan Wing Wingnet. Winget, Winget. Do not use for children's sleepwear, it says. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never seen that warning before. $8, number five on the fabric. Be a really cute pillow or an apron. Oh my gosh, so cute. Or a table runner <laughs> or a backdrop. Or you can even wrap a present in it, actually. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Thanks for coming. Oh, no worries. Glad to see you. I actually thought about if I can get myself to do whatnot, if I can actually get myself to get a sale going, I need to watch a tutorial. Um, but I thought about doing just fabric on whatnot and seeing how what that went. So it's nice and easy to ship. So I may set aside my fabric and do that because I do have some holiday fabric. Excuse my, excuse my itchy eye there. <laughs> All right, so moving along, um, I do have a Hummel. Um, let me move his t sticker, and it's going to start at 12, so I'll write that in. It's fun. I just have to figure out the camera, like how to, my phone won't handle the, so I, uh. <laughs> if I can do it with my computer camera, I think I'll be okay. Um, oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so excited. 
um, I went because my local Goodwill suddenly just started putting out their good stuff because they just didn't have anything on their shelves and um, like at normal prices and everything. I went to the other surrounding Goodwills, not so much, but that particular store, I, I don't know what happened, but um, so all of a sudden they started having some pretty good things there for good prices. And I picked myself up a children's um, card table, but I did it so that I would, it was for photographing and I'm really excited about it uh, because it's low. And then the, the, vinyl covering whatever it is that they use looks like formica it's like off white with a little gold flex all over it it has some stains i'm trying to figure out how to get them out i've tried magic eraser and i have tried um barkeeper's friend that didn't do anything so it might never come out but it's it's just so perfect and then the legs you, you can tell it's a vintage uh children's card table the legs are like a dark teal and i'm like seriously <laughs> that was like four dollars this, is, this was made for me. I love this. I need to take a picture and put it on Instagram. Anyway, enough about my excitement over a little card table. <laughs> I have, let me just fix his little skis. This Hummel figurine. Um, and he's starting at 12. And yeah, oh, it's, so, it's so cute. It's going to be great for photographing exactly what I need. Um, and it's this little skiing little guy. And my favorite thing about, yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. The little things we just get so thrilled over. <laughs> um, my favorite thing about, let me get my face out here, about these guys is the movement, like the wind in his hair and in his scarf. That's absolutely my favorite thing about, about Hummel. Um, I just, I, I like it. It's an action shot, you know. Um, he's even slightly leaning on his skis. Um, here is the oops, other side. I'm trying to be careful here. There is the Hummel insignia, I guess is the right word. And on the back it says skier, ski heil. <laughs> German, I guess. Um, hi, Margarita. Good to see you. I agree. I think he's so cute. Um, and again, he's, I think I typed it in. Yeah, he's starting at 12. And um, his little ski poles come out, I think, but they're supposed to. They don't come out of his hands, but they do come out of the little um, snowbank. So I just thought he was really cool. I really like him. I know Hummels aren't like highly, highly collectible like, like they used to be, but I have this feeling they're going to come back. I just maybe, maybe maybe like the more seasonal ones, but I, I do have like this feeling about them because it's, it's this, it's the beautiful sculpts that everybody's looking for, you know? Yeah, yeah, I agree. And I have a couple more Hummel figures. And again, with like the wind blowing, I, I just really like it. Um, I actually think if they don't move in this sale, it's, it is to the point where I am going to keep the, the two sets of Hummels that I have because I don't have any other Hummel. And I would actually like to incorporate it into my Christmas. So I will probably hang on to this guy. <laughs> he would be cute next to one of those ceramic trees. Yes. Can you imagine a little scene? It would be so cute. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay, so I'm going to move on. Oh, and by the way, it is by Goebel. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but it's Goebel, West Germany. And he's not. Oops. When I found these, I found these at a Goodwill, and I actually found a third one, but her, her like, knees and feet were destroyed. So I had to put her back. And then I saw another customer, and she's like, oh, I found some too. And she showed me, and I showed her the break, and she was like, oh. <laughs> She's like, thanks for pointing that out, because I would have been so heartbroken when I got home. I felt really bad, but I didn't want her to pay for it if she didn't know it was broken. So anyway, um, I might as well do my, the other Hummels that I have, which is a pair. I believe I'm doing these as a set, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check here. Yes. And these also start at 12. Yeah, I like the colors too. I agree. Guys, did you see how um it was cat, Calypso Cat, um, and another reseller my name is Blanking. They had such a long stream with jewelry last night. It was an eleven hour stream. It was so good. <laughs> I wasn't able to stay awake because it was all night, but I don't know if you guys caught that or not, but they had so much awesome jewelry. So you guys um, go back and watch the replay. Um, things didn't sell because they had so much. So if you guys caught that or not, but I was like in awe of how long they went live. <laughs> okay. 
so again this is a twelve dollar start and it's a little pair and i'm going to show you them one at a time so here's the little boy and again he's got that wind in his hair and it's even the original candle that they came with he's got his little horse and um the global marking of course on the bottom <laughs> i have an incoming call on my phone i'm glad i muted it <laughs> And it's not a number that I recognize, so I will not answer that. Well, the global doesn't want to focus, but I think you guys trust me. <laughs> it is there. Anyway, <laughs> so there's the little boy. I love his little shorts, too. Look at his little jacket, how it sticks up in the back. And his little, as it's called an ascot, the little side scarf thing. An ascot, I think. I like that it had the candles with it. I was actually impressed. And then a the little girl. You now it is a little, you know, tippy, but <laughs> and she's holding a tree. I agree. Thank you. <laughs> Get her face in there. There we go. Some crazing, as you can see. Her little scrunched up socks and like just like his coat, her little dress is kind of winged up in the back. It's cute. And there's the global marking. So for the pair, it's an offer up starting at 12. Yeah, me either. I, and I, I do believe, excuse me, hiccup. <laughs> Ever have that happen while you're live? I have a hiccup. Um, hi, Nicole. Wait, when did she sneak in? When did you sneak in here? Holy cow, the chat just jumped really fast. <laughs> hi, Nicole. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry I missed you. Hi, MJ. I missed you as well. Did I miss anybody else? Yell at me if I did. <laughs> oh, and I see Lena at 12. I think they're really precious. And the height, let's see. I'm, I'm measuring things oddly. Um, just under four inches in height. I think they're really precious. They I, they did make it into one of my Christmas reels last year, too. So they were fun. Oh, I see MJ at 13. Um, oh, yeah. What I was going to say about the candles is, um, yeah, I, I do believe that they're authentic to the to pieces because just the coloration it just seems like it's the same age. It's exactly the right fit. They're not they're not falling out or anything like that. So either that or somebody found a wonderful, a wonderful fit. And oh, hi, Christy. Good to see you. Um, and I see MJ at 15. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down, which is I know I'm a fast counter downer, but so um, MJ is at 15. So I'm going to need 16 or higher. Um, so going once, I'll, I'll type that in going once. <laughs> I'm so slow with typing. And going twice, I see you, um, MJ, at 20. And I'm typing in sold. Sold. And on my end, I see um, MJ at 20 before the sold. Um, if someone could confirm, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> in the meantime, I'll jot that down. Number 12. Yes, I see that. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, MJ. And, um, and thank you, Lena, for your bid, bids. Um, and anybody else? But yeah, just the two of you. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I'm, I'm so glad. So glad you see how the value in these that I do. <laughs> And it's, I think they're really precious. All right. So um, up next, I have, this is going to be something really simple, actually. It's just a, um, a votive or a tea light candle holder. It's going to be a straight price, but I'll show it to you first. And it's just this pretty um, city, city scene <laughs> um, with white with gold. And I just think it's really classy looking. I don't know, something about it, the white and gold. There we go. 
it's not coming across as gold it's coming across as across as silver more but it's definitely gold <laughs> there you can see the gold this is not vintage but i just really like the look of it it is by here we go studio nova golden city and there's a number it is made in china i just i really liked it and i've actually had it for years and i finally said i i don't know that i need this anymore so um this is going to be six dollars and it's number 19. six dollars number 19. and you could put a votive or a tea light in this one it's, it's a good good height um a votive would come close to the top but i think that's kind of what it's made for i'm guessing <clears throat> I like the cityscape, even though I'm not a city type of person. I'm a country person for sure. I just think this, it reminds me of like Miracle on 34th Street or something. I think that's what it is. Yep, that's what it is. Or um, Home Alone a little bit. <laughs> it gives me both of those vibes. Really pretty. I keep saying it's pretty, but <laughs> it is. All right, so next I'm going to move on to another simple item and it's at the same price actually um show it to you quick, quickly it does have a couple of condition issues that inside a small wreath stuff so, yes that would look really cute that would look really cute it's this uh garfield ornament get him to focus you might not because he's so shiny he does have some issue on his ear there in the black area there we go as you can see there's like three different spots or no two spots that was a glare on the black part of his ear but it's angel garfield just kind of sitting hanging out on the cloud and the sticker got torn but it's i believe by schmid no that's wrong it's an esco it's by an esco <laughs> i was reading it wrong and there's a date People always think that everything from Gar for Garfield is from 1978. That's just the copyright for Garfield. You always want to look at the other date. Uh, 1978 is on everything. <laughs> so he is $6 and he's number 24. $6 number 24 for Angel Garfield. It almost looks like he's trying to steer a car. Like he should have his steering wheel in front of him. His halo is a little bit, a little crooked there, but <laughs> and he does have the little, you know, cord that he came on. Oh, and I see Kraken. <clears throat> Excuse me. One moment. I just got a tickle in my throat. Ah, thank you. <laughs> um, for number 24. Thank you, Christine. Let's jot that down. Okay. Leanne. Hi, Leanne. Thanks for coming. Good to see you um where do i go next <laughs> i i brought a lot more than usual so i'm like whoa i want to look at everything here okay so this is for choice again and they are gonna they are well I'll, this is not an, an offer up so i'll just describe them first um they're snow babies by department 56 and this one is a skiing one. Oh, <laughs> i'm doing a whatnot test and saw you were on oh fun i i'm i gotta get i I'm feeling the way you are about it. I have to get past the the anxiety and do it and jump into. I'm having a I'm having a block about it too, and I just I really 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 want to jump in. So I think it's just the fear of the unknown. So, but I am going to give it a shot eventually. <laughs> so he has he has very blue eyes. He I think some magic eraser actually I can do that on his little star would clean that up. I've had him stored for a while actually. I can clean up those little. Uh, I think that's probably newspaper residue. Clean that up on him, but um, oh, good, good. Hi, Donna Maria. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's the ski guy, and then the other one is this little um guy. Oops, let me not get his wings here. He has wings, he's on a swing and he's holding a star, and yeah, he, uh, he actually has wings, so it's choice. And it's um, eight dollars, number ten. Eight dollars, number ten for choice between the snow babies. 
Oh, I see. For me, it's um, the technology end of it. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, uh, I know I can do it, but whoops. $8, number 10 for a choice, if anyone is interested. I do realize I have some hallmarky type type things today. <laughs> I did work at one for a few years and I loved I loved Hallmark my whole life. I hate I hate Hallmark Christmas movies. I know it's blasphemy. I hate them. <laughs> I just oh they're the same movie over and over again. And that's nothing against anybody who loves them because they are like a, a, a like a happy place type of thing. But for me it's like <laughs> I just can't stand. Them unpopular opinion time right oh good leanne thank, thank goodness i'm not alone oh, a few hi cindy <laughs> that's a relief i i particularly like this one just because he's on a swing he's kind of fun oh good it's not just me all right i'm gonna set these guys aside um let's see try not to make a crash this is another choice um and these are the german mugs with the christmas trees on them and there are two right right the same nicole everyone every once in a while i would find one i was like okay that one wasn't that one wasn't too bad it was based around a dog that the dog was okay through the whole movie <laughs> that one was okay but yeah the love story ones <laughs> i know it sounds so cynical i'm sorry um <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm, I feel the same way, Leanne. I feel exactly the same way. So it's the tree mugs and it's, okay. So I believe because I took German in high school, W is pronounced as a V, you pronounce the second vowel. So it's Wiestersbach, Wiestersbach, I believe. I believe that's how you say it, but I could be wrong. Please correct me if I am. Um, oh my. I just noticed a whole bunch of sticker residue on this one. I will clean that up. That is sticker residue. How did I miss that? <laughs> anyway, this is um, $8 and it's number 18 for choice. Yes, I agree, Christy. I agree. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I think these are fun. I always like these. Yeah, they're nice sized mugs for sure. <laughs> I always do things the hard way. Nice and clean. I they, they do plates, they do everything. I've always been drawn to these. I don't know if it's because they're sort of an 80s design that I just kind of remember. But um, when you see a full set of these, it's quite striking, actually. <clears throat> yep, so that was $8 choice, uh, number 18 if anybody's interested. You see platters and things too. Yes, absolutely. This may be, this may have to be my mug for Christmas when I do Christmas sales. <laughs> I have plenty of Christmas mugs. I don't need more. <laughs> Otherwise I'd keep these two. I need to thin what I have out actually. All right. So I'm going to move on. Uh Oh, I'm going to have an avalanche here in a second. <laughs> Mia strategically move things around here a little bit. I need a desk. <laughs> okay, um, so up next, I have this pair of their pants, um, but they could be used as fabric. Um, I actually saved them for when I was going to be small enough to wear them, and then I lost a whole bunch of weight, and now that's the other way. I, I would have to gain weight to wear them. So I never got a chance to wear them at any weight, and it's, that was frustrating. But <laughs> um, it is these, uh, they're size 12, um, pants by Talbot, actually, Talbot's. No, it is not Talbot's. I lied. I thought it was Talbot's because it's very Talbot-esque. It's ITW, whoever that is. But anyway, my point is the design on these pants, really. It's, it's the fabric if you're not interested in wearing them as pants. It's modern, but it's mid-century vibe. He's got his martini. It's the colors, that great salmony pink and the, the light green. And there's a wassail bowl, which I've also always been fascinated by as wassail bowls. 
or maybe it's pronounced Vassail. I don't know if it's German or not. My favorite of everything is the deer. I absolutely love this deer. Absolutely. I'd be the kitschy deer if I wasn't the kid. And that would be my logo right there. <laughs> I love it. I love the designs on here. It is, even though it's not mid-century, it is just encapsulated in these pants. <laughs> I honestly would like to wear them if I could. Or it could be made into a skirt if anybody's really, really talented. Honestly, it's just for the, for my, in my opinion, great for fabric. Not a lot of people wear pants that are this, <laughs> this vibrant. Thank you. Yeah, I agree. I would like, I, I would like to see it in a skirt. I would like, I, I would like to see it in all sorts of different things. I love it. I actually need to look it up. I wonder if there's more things. <clears throat> so I'm going to move along. And next as choice again four and it's starting at eight so start eight and it is these really nice i mean they're really nice thick 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 um wool christmas stockings they're you know very plain very basic but they are i don't know how to explain like somebody ha had to have handmade these there's um, a bit of twine here at the top on each one. I feel like these came from a, a shop where they handmade things. It's it's really hard to express how quality these are, but the felt on these, it it's felted wool. It is thick. It is, um, you can almost wear them as real socks, to be honest with you. <laughs> so there are three of these. And I, again, can't express what nice, thick quality these are. And then there's this one, which is a little bigger. And the same, just plain, but super nice. If you, especially if you're going for like a plain or like or a simple rustic kind of thing. And then there's a third one. Again, they all look the same, but they're really thick, really quality, really kind of fit that kind of cabiny, um, rustic, simple, simple living kind of like I can definitely Im imagine these in a cabin. Nice, dark, rich red on all of these. Really nice quality. <laughs> There's a thickness of them all together. <laughs> so I know I used, I collect like, or I used to collect the, like the really thin ones with the, the, the print on them. I think those, are more what would sell. I'm going to try to dig those out. I'm not sure where those are at the moment, but um, anyway, I just want to show those. I'm going to move on. Ah, what do we have here? Um, so up next is um, a pair of, I think they're carolers, or maybe they're just Christmas people. Actually, I think they're just people out in the winter. They're bells, but they don't... Um, they don't, they just look like figurines to me. That's how I, that's, I actually put them out last Christmas. Um, so they are these bell figurines. They both have their clackers. There is some damage to the green and the cold paint there. But you're not really looking at that side. I, I have a thing lately for the white haired figurines, Christmas figurines, especially the angels, but um, I don't know. I'm really drawn to the ones with the white hair lately. And then there's the girl. And there also is some damage to her cold paint because the sticker was put right on top of the red, unfortunately, right there on her. So together they are $12 and they're number 22. $12, number 22 for the pair. Oops, oops. <laughs> I feel like I missed someone. Did I miss someone? No, I didn't. Okay. Hi, Carrie Ann. $12 number. I think, yeah, number 22. They do ring, but I, it's funny because if you hadn't told me they were bells, I wouldn't. When I, I think when I picked them up, I didn't expect them to be bells. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're bells too. They look really sweet next to like a, a winter scene. 
like if you've got a um, like a little village going again they're perfect to fit in there although they might be a little giant <laughs> okay so I am going to move on to let's see where do I put these <laughs> set them down okay I have a pair I believe this is for choice as well no it's not <laughs> It's a set of plates. Um, it is Christmas Eve in Williamsburg, first edition, Christmas in America, blah, 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 blah. It is made in uh, Copenhagen. They are made in Copenhagen. And it's Christmas 1986. And it's actually both the same plate. But if, uh, if you're interested, the pair is $10. And it's number 14. $10, number 14. And I'm just a big winter blues fan, the blues and the whites. Um, it's something I remember growing up and it's, it's Christmassy to me, even though probably at the time it was more of a modern kind of flair when they did the blue and the whites on the silver trees, things like that. Um, for me, it's one of the things, it's just so vintage, the, the blue and white theme at Christmas time. So I am usually drawn, drawn to this. Let me show you the back has all the information on it. So much to say. And it's also hand painted and it says it would buy. So that was $10 number 14 for the pair of, I guess this would be like, is it a church? Almost like the city hall or something like that. It's a big build. It's a nice house they're going by anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to move along. I do have another plate up next and is by Balik, which I love. It's modern Balik, um, but I have always been a fan. There's certain things I've always been a fan of. Balik is one of them. Um, and this is going to start at 14. Start. 14. I love it. And this also was something I put out last year. Um, so it's this scene of these people riding a carriage by a church. And it has the typical basket weave, a leak basket weave with really pretty, um, I guess it's holly berries looks like kind of a pretty dainty holly berry, but holly berries on the side there. And down at the bottom and I like that the street sign actually says Belique on it <laughs> thank you Jan I agree and it is you know it is the typical it's not rugged sturdy it's I mean it's sturdy but it's not like a thick false graph plate or something like that it's Belique um, now if you've seen old Belique it's super thin I have some teacups that are old old um, St. Patrick's Day well they're shamrock teacups and they are like you don't even want to like touch them. They're so thin. Um, here's the back. Traveling home, first edition in the Belic Holiday Scenes in Ireland series, limited edition to 7,500. And then the original uh, sticker. I think there's a cat hair under that. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so there's the back. And again, that starts. Yeah, it is a bit on the delicate side, although. I would wrap the living heck out of this. So, <laughs> um, yeah, definitely surround it in every possible way. Um, so, yep, starting at 14 on this one. And the scene, actually, um, I forgot to mention, there are certain, like, parts that are glossy. And then, like, the snow is more matte, I think, if I'm looking at it the right way. It, it's really kind of, it has an effect to it. It's, it's, uh, there's a depth. It's like it's been painted. Well, has it been painted? It's transfer, but it looks like it's been painted. Had to, had to double check there because it was so well done. It's a beautiful scene. Oh yeah, and they incorporated the holly berries in the, in the picture too. All right, so I'm going to move along and... Oh, oh, get back over there. I got to move my bells. <laughs> Up next, I have a lot. Oh, yeah, that could be. Yep, that could be too. 
um, and it's going it's going to be well. Let me show you first. I don't know why I'm always in such a rush to say the price. <laughs> so it's a lot of brooches. Um, they are modern, but they are Christmas brooches. So we have this wooden wreath. <laughs> Wait, I guess it goes that way. It's hard to say. Usually the bow's on the bottom. So that one's kind of like a uh, kind of a crafty looking one. And then we have this uh, metal wrapped stocking, wire wrapped metal. And then there's a Christmas tree. They're all kind of mirrored. I think it's raining outside. I swear I hear raining, rain dropping, <laughs> raining. Oh, the focus. <laughs> well, anyway, you get the idea. Um, there's another stocking. There is a snowman. These are all by Gans, by the way. Another Hallmark brand. Um, this little snowman on a sled. And I'll tell you what it says as soon as it focuses. A cold hands, warm heart. It's definitely raining outside. <laughs> it's getting louder. Oh, that's everything. That's all the pins. And it's $8, number 16. $8, number 16. And you get one, two, three, four, five. You get six pins. $8, number 16, or brooches. It is raining while up north. Yeah, we had a number of, oh, okay. We had some thunder yesterday for a minute. The garden needed it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, so moving on, I'm just going to keep going with the, the, the papery type stuff here. Um, did I, where did I put the sticker? Um, okay, this is an offer up starting at eight. And you know what? It's not an offer. It's going to just be $8. So never mind the offer up part. <laughs> it's going to be $8. Um, it is a vintage paint by numbers, but, or not paint by numbers, but um, I'll show you. Do you guys remember these? You would just wet the paintbrush. And the paint would already be there. And uh, you, that's how you painted the picture. None of this has been done. All of the pictures are, how do I do this? How, what is the best way to show this? <laughs> like, how, how do teachers do it? See, I just showed a blank page. And I just showed another blank page. <laughs> oh, you guys, there. Jeez Louise. Yes, weren't they fun? I loved these. I always start off with way too much water and ruin the first one, but <laughs> I swear teachers are so good at doing this. It is very 80s. It is very 80s, early 80s, I would say. I think it's really sweet, really fun. It would almost be like a, a an adult coloring book where it's just like soothing to just do these. The nativity there. So there's, I, oh, I showed you that one already. I mean, there's more, obviously, but I won't go through every picture, but just really sweet. Um, I did find a date on it, but it was, um, yeah, it's MCM LXXV. 1975. Anybody know your Roman numerals? <laughs> MCM LXXV. Yeah, I think it's 1975, if I'm not mistaken. So not 80s. Anybody know? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you know, I'm going to Google it. I want to know. MCMLXXV. Yep, it is. Yep, so not even 80s, 70s. Yep, that's the year I was born. So, yep, this came out the year I was born. <laughs> 1975 paint by number book. Cool. Okay, so, and that was that was eight dollars, number seventeen. If anybody was interested, so I'm gonna set it aside. And next is choice, I believe. Yep, six dollars choice. And if anybody's interested in crafting, um, there. Oh, <laughs> oh, good. Um, these cross stitch, uh, packets. They're un unused. So this is going to be $6 for choice, and it's number eight. <laughs> so we have this one. A 
Greta lighting the way. Whoops, I'm about to drop the other one, kind of cross stitch. And all the parts are still there. And some other patterns if you're interested. And Hans, the sleeping mouse. So they're, I guess they're German, Greta and Hans. These remind me of, um, there was a cartoon where it was like Twas the Night Before Christmas. It was kind of oddly animated and it reminds me of the mice that were in that cartoon and like the little mouse like screwed up the clock because he didn't believe in Santa Claus or something. I don't know. This is reminding me of that cartoon anyway. I don't remember how it went, if anybody remembers that cartoon or not, but <laughs> his dad has to teach him to fix it again, then Santa Claus can come. Anyway, <laughs> that's what these remind me of. That's what I actually thought they were when I first, especially this, uh, sorry, this guy reminded me of it. And again, $6 choice number eight on those. So I'm going to set them aside. And uh, so... <laughs> I'm going to have a straight price on these. Um, this is very difficult to show. I'm going to do my best. They are vintage puzzles, tray puzzles. This one in particular has the most like wear, um, a little bit off of some of the corners and things like that. I'm going to hold it like this because the last time I tried to show this, it went flying. All the pieces went flying. So I'm just going to show it like that. But again, look at the reindeer. <laughs> I love that mid-century reindeer look. It's so funny. I love the ornaments on this tree. Now, as you can see, there are like up at the top here, right there, right there. Some of it's missing. And then the corners are a little bit banged up. So there's that one. And then this one I think is my favorite. It's a Santa. This is by Whitman. He's filling the stockings. Then I'm going to be trying to be careful here not to throw puzzle pieces at you. <laughs> I really like it. You can frame these, definitely. And finally in the lot, um, this is getting ready for Santa. These really remind me of the, the puzzles I had when I was little. I would say this one's in the best condition. I loved these as a kid. Did you guys, the wood ones too? Oh my gosh. I remember the smell of the wood ones. Some of them had the little pegs so you could pick them up easier. So there are three puzzles and they are all three, $12, number 26, $12, number 26 for the lot of three Christmas puzzles that I'm not going to hold up again because I don't want them to fall apart. <laughs> I'll hold them like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one is the one that scares me, honestly. Yeah. What did I have? I got a lot of Disney ones, if I'm not mistaken. Alrighty. Set these aside. I keep them in a plastic bag just, just in case. Just in case any puzzle pieces decide to jump off. All right, we're down to the ugly Christmas sweaters. My last two items. So, here we go. This is, where on earth did I put a price on these? Ah, oh, I didn't. Okay, so this is going to be $12, and it's number one, and it is a size medium 810 by holiday time, and it is La La Llama. I don't know if there's a fa in there, but there's La La Llama, <laughs> and he's got all these tassels. It's it's kind of hard to show because it's a longer sweater. It's got this big floppy neck and the red cuffs. <laughs> the back is plain. Um, he is soft and he has these little pom poms and beads. Um, I think it'd be actually really funny if somebody were to um were to glue like false eyelashes on him or something. <laughs> really make them stand out like some of the sh the glittery ones that you see at Halloween be really funny so that is twelve dollars and it's number one 
Uh, for the la la llama. And because it's hard to hold up, I'm going to set it down now. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like with all the tassels and stuff. Like if you don't want to put, if you don't want to make an ugly Christmas sweater, this is more along the lines of something that I think would get you there. <laughs> Lots of sequins and llama and everything. And actually, the other one is a llama as well, um, but it has an issue. So it is half the price. It is six dollars, and it's number two, and it's by Jolly Sweaters, and it's a medium as well. This one, ugh, this pattern is definitely 70s, 80s, kind of ugly. This guy has pear shades on and a jingly collar. And again, this one is also a medium. Now the issue with this one is that there's a hole, unfortunately. And it's pretty significant. But if you know, it's in the back, and if you know how to take care of it or mask it with something like garland or something, um, the hole is right there. It's kind of disguised by all the yarn. Um, but again, I thought it would be fun in case somebody wanted a cheaper one <laughs> that was just as equally um, worthy of winning an ugly Christmas sweater contest. <laughs> uh, I'm glad. <laughs> I don't know what it is with the llamas, but that's just a thing on the Christmas sweaters lately, it seems like. So, some dust. Okay, that made me work up a sweat holding that up, actually. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to set that aside as well. I thought I'd throw them in there, like, why not, you know? <laughs> okay, so let me just double check my list here, but I believe that was everything. Um... Yep, that was everything. Um, did anyone come in late? Is there something you were particularly looking for? Um, I can't really reshow everything because it's that'll be a lot. <laughs> It'd be like doing a second show. Um, but if somebody was looking for anything in particular, um, figurines or anything like that, I'm glad to show you. They have llamas, all kinds of things now. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. They're so they're. I've always liked llamas. I think they're funny. If you remember the Sesame Street song it was uh, Me and My Llama, and she goes around town and getting his brush, teeth brushed and everything. <laughs> it's like my favorite. Full aprons, too aqua or too purple. You have llamas on all kinds of... Oh, oh. That's cute. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to think if there's anything I should reshow that might grab anybody's interest. Um, I do have Anna Lee, if anybody's interested. Um, I have some kitsch. I know some people came in like half, halfway, not halfway, but I had gotten a little bit further in. Can I see the Hummel skier again? Of course, yep. Yeah. Um, as soon as I find it, there he is. <laughs> and he was a $12 offer up on him. He's a... He looks a little distressed. <laughs> I like his little snowsuit. I am um, also, you know, he's on a slope too. Even that part of it, I like. I don't know. They put thought into it when they made these, I feel like. Yeah, he is different. I like how they did the pants. Like you see different colors. It's interesting. It's like a gold brush over. Oh, there's the 12. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I missed that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say going once. Oops. Right, <laughs> exactly. Going twice. And sold. Thank you very much, MJ. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Let me jot that down as usual. Uh, wait, what number was he? I already forgot. He was number 11. Yes. 12. MJ. Okay. 
Awesome. I'm so I'm so glad you appreciate them the way I do. I I really am. Because I felt like I was starting to feel like people were losing appreciation for Hummels because, you know, they're just not as sought after as they used to be. But I think they're really nice. And um, I think the fad went out a long time ago, so they might start coming back in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I'll quickly show this just because, I don't know, maybe somebody might be because it's kitschy and I think that's what's expected so if anybody didn't see this before they came in I do have this this door hanger um and it's it's eight dollars number three if anybody's interested in this guy and he does jingle and they have <laughs> they have googly eyes true kitsch true kitsch I may do a Christmas kitsch box <laughs> with all my own souls <laughs> Uh, I have one in my China cabinet. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, Kraken. I'll write that down. Uh, Christine, I'll write that down. Number three. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I have the, v the, the, however you pronounce it, the mugs, <laughs> Vistra's block. Walker's Bach. I've heard everybody say it every bunch of different ways. So, oh, oh, oh. Let's see. You bought the Fitz and Floyd and Garfield. Oh my gosh, I feel really bad if you did already buy it and I missed it. But I would. I always watch my sales back, so I would have caught that. So, or and always, if you think I've missed it, feel free to yell at me in chat. Capitals. I don't mind. <laughs> Uh, if it looks like I didn't write it down or something like that, um, or email me any which way, <laughs> I will not be offended. Um, okay. And so we had these mugs, if anyone's interested in those, but other than that, um, I think everybody pretty much saw everything and I don't see anybody looking for anything in particular. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the sale now. Um, but I'm really glad to see everybody. I am really appreciative to have all of you come, um, check out the sales that are going on tonight. Um, I think it's, it's constantly changing and moving lately, so I don't know for sure, but, um, uh, cricket Harrington is probably having a sale right now. She starts at four. Um, Claudia K has a sale. I always forget her time. I feel really bad. She's like one of my best friends and I forgot her time. Um, <laughs> I always confuse her time and Kathy's time. Kathy Picasso Cat also. Um, I'm not sure if she's having a sale today. She has been on vacation. Oh, night, Nicole. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. And, and thank you for the uh, Instagram pro promo. Appreciate it. No sale for Claudia today. Okay. Um, and then we have chapter two vintage and I do believe there are more sales. I have to, I have to look at the calendar again, but there are, I believe sales and chats continuing through Thursdays. Thursdays are pretty full usually. So thank you, Jan. Thank you for, uh, thank you everyone. Um, I'm trying to think what I have coming. Uh, in August, I'll be doing a sale with Yvonne Thrifty Rich. And as far as I know, Fat Bird Finds, um, I, everything still needs to be nailed down, but that's coming in August. Um, aside from that right now, um, I'm focusing on just, uh, reorganizing my stock again and doing my Thursday sales, kind of getting that going again. Um, the chatty Cathy's I wanted to mention, I don't know if Kathy's here, but it turns out, um, unfortunately that cause I did a test, uh, my neighbors can still hear me talking in this volume at 10 o'clock at night and it's, it would be a problem no matter what. So I need to figure something out. I don't know what that is. I would like to move. <laughs> it's very difficult right now in this market, uh, but I am trying to get back to that show. And believe me, I'm ready to I'm ready to get back because I miss it desperately. Yeah, they need some some soundproofing in here. Yeah, I really want to move badly, <laughs> really badly. <laughs> I'm about this close to like seeing if I can uh, get a loan for an RV and <laughs> just have my own privacy, you know? Oh, thank you. I, it's, it's okay. I do have different neighbors now who are very kind and they're not rude about it. I actually told them to tell me if they could hear me because I don't want to disturb them. So it's really more an, an apartment uh, noise issue as far as like insulation and soundproofing than anything else. So it's a bummer, but 
I'm still working on figuring it out. At least I, I'm I'm trying to move forward with this. I, I'm still looking for another place to live, and I will try to find a place where I can have quiet and whatever's next to me is a quiet room and it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I do have a lot of hearing loss in this ear and I do tend to get loud sometimes when I get like happy or excited or whatever, which is kind of a shame to have to stifle that. Um, so I do get loud and I don't realize it. Um, but yeah, styrofoam man it's gonna be a solution yeah, i i want to move out of this area anyway um it is the city and i'm not a city person so i'd rather not invest in anything and just just try to find another place <laughs> in the country i would love a place in the country oh say your prayer if anybody prays or if anybody knows anybody <laughs> keep me in your good thoughts whatever it is you do <laughs> to get out of here um not it's not a horrible place it's just not ideal for for my situation so thank you i i actually found the flags at the bins still in the packaging which was really cool so i just kind of popped them around <laughs> okay well i hate to go because i'm having fun talking to, to everyone but um i will let you go i'll let you hit hit up the other sales and i appreciate you coming and talking and uh, the lurkers and the helpers and um and the purchasers of course and uh it was really good to see you guys and it feels good to be starting to get back in the rhythm of things. So um, I'm looking forward to my next sale. I'm not sure what it's going to be, though. I, I got to think of a theme. I got to think of a theme. So maybe it'll be just all Wade whimsies because I have a whole bunch of them. I don't know. An all Wade whimsy sale will be a little much. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Oh, Steph. <laughs> Steph just came in. Wait, I got to stop. <laughs> Hi, Steph. <laughs> Before I go, Steph, were you looking for anything in particular? Christmas. That's all I have is Christmas, but <laughs> just to double check before I go, because Steph buys the most fun things for me. She bought a shillelagh from me around St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> it was such a, a hoot. <laughs> just looking. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I wish I was awake during your sales. It bums me out. I, I'm going to one of these nights, I'm gonna have insomnia, and I'm gonna get you, get you. I'm gonna get in your get in your chat. <laughs> oh well, thank you all for coming. I so appreciate it again, and I look forward to seeing everybody soon. And I appreciate you continuing to come when I have not been very regular lately. I'm um, just working through my health issues and things, and uh, you've been all been very kind and patient and understanding. So I really look forward to seeing you again soon, and maybe I'll pop up in in, in another person's sale sometime soon. Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> All right. I'll see everyone soon. Have a great night. Bye guys.